Siberia, uh, Russia, still Russia. And I want to show you some pictures about what we do in Siberia. Um, yeah, menstruation, it's uh, actions which uh, we started uh, 15 years ago. Uh, it's an uh, it's ma alternative May Day march, march uh, on the main street of Novosibirsk. And um, sometimes we have up to 5,000 participants which brings um, their own slogans to show what they, to, to tell what they want. And uh, mostly it's absurd and nonsense slogans. And uh, we try to work with post-Soviet tradition of uh, demonstrations, uh, May Day demonstrations. And Siberia, Siberia is this green uh, part of uh, officially, official Siberia is uh, this. And um, the red arrow is uh, show my own, my, my hometown, Novosibirsk. And um, the shape of Siberia, uh, we have nothing to do with it and we need to make some uh, ironic, uh, ironic art and uh, mostly conceptualism because we don't have any resources to do something and we just mm, make a concept. And uh, how it looks like. We start with uh, traditional red and white uh, banners uh, which a communist um, bring to every year to the May Day to do some strange ritual because in Soviet time it was like a, uh, all glory to the communist party. It's not, it, it wasn't um, any protest day but we believe that May Day is an um, anarchist uh, day and we, uh, sh we, we need to think about anarchy, we need to make some protest, but how we can do it in Russia, in Siberia? <laughs> because, you know, Russia is very um, centralized and everything is in Moscow and every decision, every, everything is in Moscow and nobody wants to listen what people from Novosibirsk want to tell uh, on their slogans and we start as just some child poetry like Taina don't cry uh, or uh, this uh, the, uh, Balo and Zaya uh, it means nothing but if you change uh, uh, this piece so it, it will mean Zaya Bala and uh, it's, it means um, like we are fucking tired of, of all and I think it's um, mm, main emotion which we uh, we think about that emotion every time when we came to the May Day uh, and we came to the demonstration and we just try to find some new language to tell about this because old language isn't working and uh, we try to communicate with uh, authorities who uh, make some reactions to us and they said that we are anti-globalists. Okay, we will have anti-globalistic slogans if we need, why not? Um, or something like this. Because actually I think we don't need to tell something special. If we look like demonstration, uh, if we use a traditional form of demonstration, so uh, we, can, we can take any slogans and everybody understand what, what's happened. Or something like this. Um, just some guy who want to tell about smoking. Or um, on the on the 2008, uh, we bring the main slogans, um, main banner um, in the start of demonstration, and we 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 think we try to make some comments to this, like uh, don't try to teach us because we also can teach you. Um, so we ask for some autonomy, and 2000. Nine crisis. I don't feel crisis. This guy don't feel crisis. Maybe you remember it was some crisis this year, or something like this. Like system, why are, why you are so nervous? And uh, or when will be the May Day? And about nervous system. And uh, this year I was arrested <clears throat> because we looks like extremist, you know. And so we have a special anti-extremist department. They catched me and bring some weed to my back and I was arrested and spent some time in prison. But it was a very big advertisement to demonstration. And next year we have uh, the same, 
we have the same uh, the same demonstrations not only in Novosibirsk but I think it's about 10 uh, other cities uh, also in Moldova in Ukraine not only in Russia in some post-soviet countries and uh, what we write it was like if everybody will uh, go like us it will be some energy uh, came in so because we want to advertisement to advertise energies. Our uh, Russia without Agutin, Agutin is a pop song, uh, songer, singer, but, but everybody understand what we want to tell when we write Russia without Agutin because you need any comments with it. Uh, because it's, <clears throat> or something like this, or forward to the dark past, uh, or I, I, I want uh, understandable slogans. Uh, or the hell is ours. Uh, it was uh, in 2014 when every, every Russian uh, said that Crimea is ours. But uh, we, we, we want to tell that not only Crimea is ours. Um, <laughs> next year we meet with uh, riot police and it was the first time when riot police came to Novosibirsk and uh, it looks like a military parade. And uh, the girls who came to the demonstration because I think the most um, most people who came to demonstration, they are very young, like 14, 15, maybe just some guys from school and girls. And it was, I think we don't need to, to write something or to tell something. When you show this picture, and it was like a picture of year in, in my city because uh, it, was, it was unforgettable uh, uh, how, it, how we can live in city, why authorities react like this. And um, or this, and, but we just want to tell uh, this year when riot police came, we just want to tell like God, God forgive us. Uh, it's not about conversation with authorities. It's not a conversation with uh, Christians because we have a lot of problems with Christians. But we just wanted to speak with God, maybe. Or uh, next year we're also trying to find some some words to show that. We still angry, uh, and uh, here is not in, you are not in Moscow. Um, it means like you are not in Moscow. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, what to tell more. <laughs> or uh, it's forbidden in Russia uh, because it's also mm, we try to have a conversation with other cities because uh, in 2017 it was okay with demonstration with uh, permissions and all the stuff in Novosibirsk but uh, it started to have a lot of problems in, diff in other cities. Uh, in Yekaterinburg for example demonstration was forbidden. Uh, in Nizhny Novgorod demonstration was forbidden and uh, we also try to show that we are not in Russia, we are in Siberia and it's forbidden in Russia, but uh, it's okay in Novosibirsk. Uh, or um, Severny Korea, it means like northern, more northern than North Korea. Uh, just about our feelings. We want to, to speak about our feelings, where we live, Some, somewhere northern than, than North Korea. Yeah, also some <clears throat> Something not about menstruation, it's um, what can artists do for, I don't know, society, for, for country, for another artist. Uh, when, um, yeah, when Pussy Riot was arrested uh, in 2012 and uh, we, was, we want to support them, but we also think about how we can support them from Novosibirsk, make some meeting, make some uh, political protest in Novosibirsk. Nobody wants to, 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 to think about this. And we just uh, find a miracle. We just walk and on the street and fi uh, find a miracle uh, because it's one, it's a long story, okay. We just, <laughs> we just, find, we just meet with Icon and it was a big story uh, because I understand what, what I want to do. When you use this light box, it looks like very sacral space. And if you post these uh, posters to just to the wall, nobody will, 
know about this, but if you use this special sacral place, Okay, and also we sell some t-shirts with that uh, picture to support girls when we understand that media and hype is not enough and they need money and we also can do this. And some other pictures. Yes. It's a polis try to, to steal my poster. Uh, yeah, and the last my picture, I, I, I think a lot about uh, Police brutality, and uh, I start to make a paints like you know with a, just a rubber stick. I think that I need to be the canvases uh, and make some.